Welcome to Student Good News. Not brought to you by Coca-Cola yet. Coca-Cola, balls in your court. We've all had a lot of negativity in our lives recently, maybe a lot of boredom, but there's good news out there. And so we here at Heritage think it's our job to kind of tell you what's going on. Let's get started. Learning how to handle her newfound free time, one Ohio student made a schedule. And look at this, at the bottom it says help mom with dinner. That's nice. Meanwhile, another Ohio student also learned that when you're making your schedule, you can make a K as tall as you want. Now that's some student good news. Another local Ohio student has found ways to help his parents out without even stepping on the yard. He's taken out the trash from a distance. Nice shot. Also, it's really nice to keep your bathroom clean. Just don't touch anything. Just throw it. That's good. And oh, nice enough to provide some toilet paper in these times. When it comes to dinner, why touch anything there? Just toss your tortilla across the kitchen. Parents will love that one. While many students have been stuck inside lately, this nature-loving student actually got photobombed by one of her favorite trees in her most recent Instagram post. Do you know that tree? Yes, you know really. Tree. Uh, that's fine. And students, if you've been bummed about staying inside the whole time, it's really not such a bad thing because elephant warriors with clubs are actually roaming the streets. And that's not something any of us want, so not a bad time to be inside. And then, when this Central Ohio student found out that her two feet were horribly afraid of each other, she got down to business and she figured out how to keep them really far apart. Now that's some good news for you. Also, she's ready to attack someone as soon as they walk through that door. Never bad to be prepared. And some other good news, some students and their parents have found out that a socially distanced street meet at six feet can be oh so sweet. Your local kickboxing gym closed? Not a problem. You've got landscaping. Just head up to your favorite shrub and just give it the old one too. Sorry, you blew. And more student good news, we're all learning how to live life in this new, weird situation we're all in. This student's learned that if mom can't see the laptop screen, she's gonna think you're studying when we all know you're playing Minecraft. Not a bad deal. Another Ohio student was given enough balloons for her birthday that she just, just floated away. Sort of just floated away. Healy, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> but you wish you could do that too, Jubilee, right? <clears throat> now it's time for my favorite part, the heartwarming story of the week. After hearing that her elderly neighbor was unable to pay her electricity bill, this local student leader actually turned her hair into a power-generating windmill and is providing power for the entire street. Now that is some good news. Well, students, that's all the student good news we've got this week. Mainly because most of you aren't accepting our follow requests on Instagram, which is pretty sad. If you don't want us following you on Instagram, then please send your videos, along with some stinky, stinky socks from your laundry, to Billy and Maggie Height, who will be evaluating your submission. That's it for this evening. We'll see you soon. This is Sam and Jubilee, signing off.